Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. I would like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And blessings all right, to you brothers that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity around the four corners of the earth, risking your lives and freedom to do so. All right. And um, I came across this video. All right. It says a uh, Philadelphia barber who cuts hair for homeless. All right. Demanded answers. All right. Because he saw. All right. Approached him. All right. And told him. All right. To pack up and leave. All right, which it was all the spirit of the Lord, man, because, hey, man, this actually uh, is not good in the eyes of the, of the Lord, man. So, hey, man, I'm going to play this video and I'm going to get into a few scriptures, man. Beloved social media up in arms tonight over this video right here. It shows a Philly barber who is nationally known for giving free haircuts to the homeless, being confronted by a Philly police officer and told to pack things up. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petro is live in Center City. Matt, it appears people online are making judgment calls, but this all may be much ado about nothing. Good evening. Hey Joe, good evening to you. That's right, you know, Brennan Jones has been cutting hair for homeless here on 8th and Market Streets for years. He was doing just that the other day at this corner when he tells us a police officer approached him, told him he has to leave. The whole incident was caught on camera, but an official tells us that incident may not be as hairy as it seems. Cell phone video shows Brennan Jones being approached by a Philadelphia police officer telling him to clean up and leave. Basically came over and said, listen, I got a call from my sergeant. You have to shut down immediately. No explanation. Tonight, Jones explains the incident with the officer is much different than how the city recognized him in 2017. That's when eyewitnesses when first told you his story, and not long before he became honored by everyone from Philly's mayor to the 76ers, all for his haircut for homeless program. I come here every other week, and I cut him here, and I've been doing it for the last three years. Well, the say no good deed goes unpunished, and Jones says he knows the feeling all too well after the incident with the officer. But Jones told the officer if he has to pack up, he'll call the mayor. So the officer then made a call and told Jones to just clean up after he's done. If hair was to blow, it's not going to go far. All right. And just before we get into this, I want to uh, airplane mode. All right. And I'm going to say this, man. On the video, uh, you actually see him uh, breaking, all right, the law, man. All right, causing a uh, jig to error. Also, man, all right. All right, and the first scripture I want to pull out is Leviticus 21 and 5. It says, they shall not make baldness upon their head. All right, and as you see on the picture, on the video, shall like you, all right, this guy was uh, uh, cutting uh, uh, another jake, a bald head, man. All right, which is, this is breaking the law of Yahweh by Shem man. All right, I'm going to read this again. Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard, nor make any cuttings in the flesh. All right. And on the video, all right, you see, all right, this barber giving Jake a lineup, making cuttings into the flesh. All right. Because when you get a lineup, all right, you actually cutting into the flesh. That's why when you put alcohol on it, it burns, man. All right. That's why. You know, when I get it cut now, without getting the line up, you know, if I put alcohol on it, it won't burn, all right? Because I'm not making any cuttings in the flesh, man. All right, but actually, it's a scripture on that. Let's get that. Leviticus, I believe it's uh, 19 and 27. All right. It say, uh, ye shall not round the corners of thy heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard, man. When you're going to mar, it means uh, line up. All right, you should not line up the corners of your head. All right, so you shouldn't be getting lineups, man. You shouldn't be lining up your beard. You shouldn't be lining up your head, man. All right, that's a law. Uh, 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 that's a law, man. That's a commandment. All right, but you got Jake, all right, that's uh, cutting these uh, people hair, these homeless people hair, but he's lining them up and cutting and uh, lining their beards up, man, and making a uh, board upon their heads, man. So he's breaking the law, man. All right, but he don't consider that, man. He don't consider that, man, all right? And um, 
I got a quick precept. Uh, this is Proverbs 14 and 12. All right. It said, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. All right. So him cutting hair for the homeless, all right, it seems right unto him. All right. It seems uh, right to uh, everyone who's uh, uh, looking, looking upon that. Oh, he's doing a good deed. All right. The Lord is uh, going to bless him for this, man. No, he's not, man. The Lord is going to put him to death for this, man. All right. Because why? He's breaking the law. All right. It said there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. All right. So the end of the hey, man, the scriptures say the ways of sin is death, man. All right. So this guy is uh, not considering that he's uh, breaking the law of the Bible, man. All right, he's breaking the law of the Bible. All right, so hey, man, listen, man. I hope this was. Hey, people. Hey, and, and, and also, I'm gonna say this too, man. All right, that could that that whole situation could have got ugly for him, man. All right, when the police told him, hey, pack it up, man. Hey, you pack it up, man. All right, the scriptures to, uh, going to how you uh, supposed to uh, agree with thy adversaries uh, quickly, man. All right, that incident alone, man. The Lord could have uh, had it turned out uh, bad for that guy, man. All right, so hey, man, you know, hope this was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodas. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule will and blessings, you know, to you brothers that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity around the four corners of the earth, risking your lives and freedom to do so. A shalom and a ba-ba-ba.